This is Shelley Niece from the Jerusalem Connection. In 1947, while the nation of Israel struggled for its independence, a grand relic from Israel's past was miraculously unearthed. A Bedouin shepherd boy wandering the desert floor near the Dead Sea accidentally came upon a horde of ancient scrolls. Hidden in a cave, a stone's throw away from a set of unremarkable ruins known as Qumran. The scrolls made their way through the antiquities black market and finally into the hands of Hebrew scholars. From there, the world quickly learned of the phenomenal find. The hunt for more scrolls was on. For the next 10 years, archaeologists and Bedouins raced against each other, exploring every cave they could locate in the terraces surrounding Qumran. Eleven caves in total contained ancient manuscripts and the unusual shaped jars that preserved them. Predating the oldest known copies of the Hebrew Bible by a thousand years, the scrolls launched a new era in biblical scholarship. Skeptics of the Bible's authenticity were silenced as the content matched in an astonishingly close way our modern Bible translations. A total of 900 texts, the scrolls were divided into three categories. 40% were biblical texts, common to today's Hebrew Bible. 30% were extra-biblical texts, uncanonized but popular religious writings from the Second Temple period. And the rest were sectarian manuscripts, particular to the Jewish sect that authored them. Every book of the Hebrew Bible, with the exception of Esther, found representation in the biblical books in the Dead Sea Scroll collection. The Isaiah Scroll is the one most prominently featured in the Israel Museum scroll display called the Shrine of the Book. I've seen people stand frozen at the display, entranced by the scroll's stunning preservation. The extra-biblical manuscripts provide historians a wide-ranging look into a critical, although previously misunderstood, part of history. When Judaism was redefining itself under tyrannical Roman rule, and Christianity was in utero. Jubilees and Enoch are two of the most interesting extra-biblical scrolls. Popular during Second Temple times, but eventually rooted out during the canonization process. Reading them feels like finding an uncut version of a great movie, replete with deleted scenes and extended commentary, that never made it quite into the canonized scriptures. From the sectarian corpus, scholars found a Jewish group unlike either the Pharisees or Sadducees, the two most well-known sects from that time. Though the name Essene is never denoted outright in the scrolls, the anonymous texts seem to match what we know from historical sources about the movement. Their messianic hopes, prophetic interpretations, and apocalyptic beliefs, and their strict communal practices. The Essenes are widely believed to have been a kind of Jewish monastic movement, the Bible's description of John the Baptist seems like he could have very well been an Essene. After the Romans destroyed Jerusalem and condemned the Jews to exile, the Essenes, also known as preparers of the way, faded from view. But almost 2,000 years later, the fruit of their efforts in preserving the holy books came back into the light, and Bible believers were given a wonderful gift. Proof. Shavuot